Hello, welcome to this uh, special uh, screening tonight of uh, What If uh, with Christophorus Papakalliatis, an evening with Christophorus. We're very proud to have him here with us tonight. Um, we, we do want to mention uh, that we do, we, we do want to thank, of course, our Consul General um, Elizabeth uh, Fotiadu for uh, hosting the reception that follows this event, as well as her, uh, her continued support for anything uh, remotely cultural and all cultural events in, in Los Angeles. Uh, we also want to thank the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association that are here with us tonight attending uh, this screening. Uh, we want to thank uh, Melody Kornbrot and her team for the publicity provided for this event, as well as uh, Ersi Danu, our founder that's here with us tonight, and ceaseless worker. Uh, and uh, our board of directors, and of course, um, uh, the, our sponsors that make this event possible. Uh, Christophoros is with us uh, tonight, uh, and, uh, and you all know him from his very popular and successful uh, TV, uh, TV appearances. And of course, now he's doing something different, uh, films, in a big way. Christophoros, uh, please come and give us a couple of words. opportunity to present uh, my film, What If. Uh, basically, What If is a, is a love story. It's a love story in Greece, in Athens, and in, in an age of everything changing and the most big European economical crisis, and how that affects our lives. Uh, but it's better for you to enjoy the movie, and afterwards we can have a Q&A, small Q&A, so we can see if you liked it, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. Thank you for treating us to this beautiful uh, screening. Um, Thank you for I, I believe we all enjoyed it uh, tremendously. Uh, we've, we've gotten used to seeing you in, uh, in television, and, and you've been acting, and you're one of the best actors we have in Greece, certainly. And, uh, but Thank now... You. But now we, 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 and I do know that you've been writing yourself uh, some of the episodes uh, on TV and, and other scripts since you were younger, and you've also been directing television. Now we see you in film, uh, writing, directing, acting, of course, and, uh, and also making the music selections. And uh, <laughs> do you leave anything for anybody else to do? <laughs> Uh, and how well, do you I don't bring do makeup all of these things together? <laughs> <laughs> I leave the makeup and the DP for someone else. Uh, cinema was actually it came as a normal step. I was as I was growing up. Uh, I loved cinema. I grew up with cinema. Uh, when I was doing all the drama TV shows back in Greece, uh, I was quite comfortable and things were going very well for me. So there wasn't any need. Uh, but as I was growing up, uh, I waited for the right time and I did my first step. Yeah, but usually people are happy to be good in one thing and you're, you're here you are in three different areas. Ah, the three uh, different happy. roles, yes. Uh, this is something that follows me since I was uh, 15 when I started doing it. Um, you find it difficult, uh, directing and writing? And... You know what, it's, it's quite... If you write something that is so personal, like this movie or some other scripts that I, I, I made, uh, it comes it comes along. I mean, uh, it's like three different characters, three different sides uh, of one person. Sometimes it's uh, difficult because you know there are three different very big roles, and uh, the one helps the other one sometimes, but also the one fights with the other one. <laughs> I see. Um, also, um, also we see that uh, this is a beautifully photographed film as well. Uh, it is a storybook uh, look and feel, uh, like comes out of a Disney story sometimes. It's, it's beautiful. I haven't seen Athens uh, like that in a long time. Uh, what was your inspiration about that? Well, you see, Athens and Plaka are... Uh, I did nothing. 
that were there. <laughs> so uh, the, the, the lack of fairy tale. And I mean, what I wanted was for someone, for the character, when he's in love, uh, when we are in love, everything is all beautiful and everything is like a fairy tale around us. So that's, what, that's why I decided to do everything in Plaka. And of course, because uh, it's my city, Athens, and it's my country, and I wanted to, to show how beautiful this city is, and uh, not only for people to watch uh, Athens and Greece through all the, you know, uh, through the news, which is well, not very good. We certainly thank you for that experience. <laughs> um, um, talking about uh, what's in Greece like it is today, uh, it is a country in crisis, an economy in crisis, and we do see the, the amazing uh, Greek cinema, the, mm -hmm. the Hellenic Greek cinema that's getting awards in all the major festivals, even this year yeah. in Venice and, uh, and in many other festivals. Uh, is, there, is there hope there? Is there light at the end of the tunnel, at least for film in Greece and, 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 and the cinematographers in Greece? I think there's always hope, especially in cinema, uh, no matter the crisis. But uh, I'm trying to be optimistic for Greece, and I'm trying to be, you know, esiodoxos, as we say. Absolutely. And uh, things are difficult right now in my country. We are going through a very rough period. Uh, not only Greece, Europe generally, yeah. Spain, Italy, Portugal. Um, I don't have an answer for everything. What I know, what I, the answer I have actually is that. When somebody knows how to do something quite well, he should stick to it. I mean, I know how to tell stories. This is what I need to do, and this is what I want to do, and this is what I hope to, to try and communicate. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the only solution. Great. Thank you for this positive attitude and, and approach. Uh, there, there are definitely high production values in, in, the, in the film, and it's uh, quite uh, looks like there was quite a budget for Greek standards uh, lately. Uh, was it easy getting the money together uh, and uh, the production? Oh, it's never getting, and it's never easy getting the money, <laughs> especially in Greece, especially nowadays. But uh, of course, I was very, very lucky. Um, it wasn't such a big budget movie. Uh, Comparing to other Greek budget uh, budgets, yes, it was, but normally it wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't very easy because uh, w while we were shooting and while we were on the pre-production, things were changing very, very quickly in Greece. I mean, we had uh, two uh, election rounds, and every week we didn't know what 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 was happening. But fortunately, we we fought for the movie. We worked a lot, all of us, and. Now, uh, exactly a year after, I'm here. <laughs> and and, and, and during our last, uh, previous and earlier discussion we had, this was one of the few films that uh, everybody had paid, actually. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. In Greece, this is a very big thing. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, in Greece, this is a very big now, thing. This yes. is everybody unique, got paid. <laughs> this is a unique film now. Uh, well, thank you very much, Christopher. And now, I'd like to open it up to more uh, questions from our audience. Uh, any, any questions? Yes, please go ahead, Sophia. I love the movie first, I want to say. And, um, are you a dog lover? Is that your dog? Actually, I have a cat. <laughs> uh, I love cats. I love dogs as well. I love animals. Uh, but I have a cat. I found her outside my house one night with three legs. It's nice. But she didn't want to play. <laughs> The dog was amazing, yes. I was very lucky with the dog. Of course, the dog had a trainer. Uh, and the whole experience working with the dog wasn't very easy, but it was very, very interesting. It was beautifully made. I loved it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, any other questions? Are you, are you planning anything else new uh, now? Uh, I'm planning my next movie. Your next It's another film, right? It's another film, yes. We have news here, right? <laughs> It's a new script, and uh, we are we are starting the production in a month of time. <coughs> hopefully, hopefully next year will be yes. What was your inspiration for the intertwining of the stories like that? Did something happen in your life? Was it just you were sitting there one day, or was it something much? It was such an emotional, beautiful movie. It seems to me, not that I'm anybody, that it came from really far.
within you. So I'm wondering if you could hear that a little bit. Exactly. It was a quite personal movie, the script. Uh, it was quite personal because I think that all of us, many times in our lives, we think about, we're trying to imagine what if our lives and all the, the decisions we made. And this is uh, how, how can I say, Stavrodromi. Uh, crossroads. A crossroad, exactly. Uh, so, yes, those, everything you saw is everything that I live and everything that I want to live as well. So it's those two different characters uh, that everybody carries. Thank you. Thank you yes, in the much. back, please. Athens Hi. is a very crowded city, and in the middle of the movie, you saw quite a few shots where there was nobody on the streets. Yes. So Athens is very dirty, and in these shots, <laughs> you see. <laughs> Plaka is not very dirty, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and Plaka during the day in the morning, uh, it, the shootings were in uh, March, April, and May, and, and half June. Uh, so April, uh, not many people are in the morning in Plaka. We were starting the shooting at about uh, five o'clock in the morning, especially because of uh, so we could not have any traffic. But uh, Plaka is not dirty at all. Uh, <laughs> but even if it was, if it was in some places, it's a movie. <laughs> Why to show the dirt? <laughs> we can see it every day. <laughs> yes, please, the lady. Have we had the opportunity to screen in other cities in the United States? We've screened the movie uh, last week in New York. We came April again, uh, April there was a screening in New York as well, last April, and in Los Angeles on behalf of uh, Gabby Awards. And uh, the, there was a screening in San Francisco, in Paris, in Brussels, in Berlin. Uh, I think this is it. And the New York uh, screening uh, last ah, week yeah. was a huge one, over 1,300 people. So that, uh, congratulations. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> I have a uh, question. Yes. Did you ever see the uh, Nicholas uh, Gage film Family Man? I believe that's uh, the title of it, uh, where he has a rich life and he has a poor life. Uh, and uh, That one, no. I've seen many, many others. That one, no. Sliding Doors, I've seen. Sliding Doors. Which is similar. But in, in any way, uh, it, it's... It's similar to your film, but I think your film is much better. Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> but he has, uh, you know, the, he, he sets out, uh, uh, you know, he has his wealthy life, uh, and then he has his uh, poor life. And, the two sides. And then at the end yeah. it, it comes together. Well, this is, this is the, this script, the idea of having what if my life would be something like that or something, another thing was uh, in many, many scripts. I mean, uh, Double Life of Veronica from Kislovsky as well, Run, Lola, Run, uh, many, many others. So it's, uh, it's a very general, uh, universal, universally theme. theme. Uh, there was a question from here uh, whether... Sorry. Uh, the, whether no, no, no. Is it possible to purchase this film? Is it commercially available? Commercially? If, if there is a I mean, distributor, I, you mean? Yeah. No, Can like a it? DVD. Or a DVD? Yes, of course. Yes. Where? Uh, through the internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it doesn't have any. Um, uh, yeah, Extra? Oh, it doesn't have any distribution. It doesn't have any distribution yet in the U.S. Hopefully, sometime. <laughs> Wait for the next one. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, yes, please. Can I just ask you how many days shooting you had to do the film? 42 days. Exactly. And there are no um, real tax incentives in Greece. How do you convince people to put their money up? <laughs> wow, that was the most difficult part. <laughs> but fortunately, the movie was a big box office hit in Greece, so uh, everybody, all the people who put the money, of course, they were, we, we are all very lucky that it went so well. So they gain twice. <laughs> uh, you know, even if things are very difficult in Greece, people are trying to do stuff. 
So if somebody has a lot of money, he has to help some others. And that's how we go on. We'll take uh, one more question. Yes. So I thought. Yeah. Hi. Go ahead. Thank you very, very much. We have to rely on the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association for that. Uh, the last Go ahead. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Uh, don't forget to the reception uh, at the Consul General's house. Uh, thank you, Christopher, for being here. It was a pleasure. Thank you very, very, very much. I would like to thank, of course, uh, the Los Angeles Greek Film Festival, the Greek General Council, and Melody Korenbrot, who is the publicist of the movie, and now a very, very good friend of mine. And I would like to thank you all for coming here tonight and for giving us the opportunity. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. <laughs>